What is up YouTube? Brandon here and you're watching the Scale Racing Channel. Ah, oh, such a nice day. Let's go ahead and do some Hot Wheels racing, shall we? I'm going to do a quick eight race and this time we're going to be taking a look at some more fantasy castings. Some of these notoriously fast. We'll give them a shot to see how they do on this quarter mile drag strip. I do have nine here. I'm going to weigh all these guys once I get them out of the package and I will line up the two lightest cars out of this bunch and put them in that last seed in my eight car bracket. Eight car bracket, one winner. Winner goes on to see the current gatekeeper, which is the Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe from the Cool Classics line. Are you with me? Well, let's go. All right. First car up for your consideration is the Hot Wheels Super Chrome Whip Creamer. It does have those redone red line wheels. You look at the back of the package. All chrome with some sick flames on the top of it. Kind of a, we'll call it interesting looking. Metal base, chromed out. Hmm. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and find out on this. Weight on this guy, 59.1 grams. Next up, an Obtanium. This thing is, uh, I don't know, this one's kind of interesting also. Um, it does have the huge bling wheels on it. I don't know. This is metal base, plastic body. And he doesn't weigh much. 35.2 grams. Let's stick him down on the bottom rung because I think he's going to be one of the lighter ones here. Oops, next one up. 16 Angels, 2004 first edition. Look at the back. <laughs> Get out of there. It's got the PR5s, metal base, metal body. This one's got some weight to it 45.2 grams. Next up the four-wheel invader in the back this one also available with six wheels but I believe the four-wheel is a little bit quicker or should be no little plastic didgeridoo in this one Probably a choking hazard if I had to guess. Metal body, plastic base, and it does have the wide five spokes in the rear. 46.7 grams. Next up, Lakester, 1998 first edition. Look at the back. Interesting. This one has an 
internal blister as well as the external blister. Anyway. Weird looking little bug. Metal body, metal base. What are you doing? 31.8 grams, kind of light. Lighter than I expected. Buick Wildcat. Another uh, not too beautiful Hot Wheels model. This one's got internal packaging also. Great. Three spoke uh, wheels. Metal body plastic base. Weighing in at 37 grams. Next up, the way too fast. And I think this has got to be probably my favorite version of the way too fast. It's got a lot of detailing on it. In the 2001 Hot Wheels Racing line. They had some of those stock cars and they had a lot of these other uh, auxiliary cars that were matching the stock cars available and this is one of them it does have the mobile livery on it it also has internal packaging Jeez. nice White paint on some of the engine detailing. Metal base, metal body. Way too fast or usually pretty quick. 45.7 grams. I'm sure this guy needs no introduction. Hot tub. the back. Lots of metal on this guy. Notoriously quick. Notoriously not very good looking. Interesting. We'll see what she does. 47.8 grams. And I pulled a fast one on you. I had this Arachna rod set up as my ninth car and got it out of the package and he rolls like crap. So we're going to throw that one to the side, replace him with hopefully a more worthy contender. This is the 2001st edition Arachna rod in red. Back. Metal body, lots of plastic. A little spider and the engines and stuff are all plastic. Base is plastic. It does have the PR5s on it. Hopefully this one rolls a little better than the other one. Arachna rod weighing in at 34 and a half grams. All right, first race between these two lightweights. We'll take the seed. Move on to this eight car bracket. Winner of the bracket to see the gatekeeper. Let's get this thing going. All right, here we go. Whip creamer lane number five, 16 angels in lane number six. On your marks, get set, go. Whip creamer with the jump.
took the jump and the win. Lane swap. On your marks, get set, go! But Kramer out with the lead. 16 Angels drove right around him. We'll look at the video and see how uh, far the beat was. Looking at the video, 16 Angels had uh, whipped creamer by about three quarters of a car length on the second race. And I think this guy actually went past the uh, finish line first on the first race, but the paddles called uh, whipped creamer the winner. So 16 Angels moving on. Buick Wildcat versus the four wheel invader. And yeah, I realize the Buick isn't a true fantasy car, but since uh, you know it never made it into production, we're gonna go ahead and roll it anyway. On your marks. Get set. Go. Close race. Buick taking that one. All right, we're going to do a lane swap. On your marks. Get set. Go. Still a close race. Looks like lane five is going to be the faster lane tonight. We'll have to check the video. Buick Wildcat with a slightly larger gap in the second race. He'll be moving on. Way too fast versus the hot tub. On your marks. Get set. Go! Way too fast. Just dusted the hot tub. Lane swap. On your marks. Get set. Go! Way too fast, moving on. I told you we were gonna Ragnarod versus Lakester for that last spot in the eight car race. I'm gonna throw a little curveball. Power Rockets, sitting on the pegs looking lonely, decided, heck, he's a fantasy car. Let's throw him in the mix. He'll be battling it out against Arachnorod. Arachnorod versus Power Rocket. And yes, I've gone through all these cars and prepped the wheels in preparation for this race. On your marks. Get set. Go! Power Rocket. Just took that one. What a hunk of junk. Lakester versus the fresh off the pegs power rocket just took care of Arachnorod, no problem. On your marks, get set, go! Lakester with the jump. Taking it the distance. On your marks, get set, go! Backing up that first win. An Obtanium versus Lakester. On your marks. Get set. Go! An Obtanium with a jump. Stayed ahead of Lakester the whole way. Lane swap. On your marks. Get set. Go! Oh, a little bit closer race this time. Lakester got that win. Unobtainium had the bigger beat though. He'll be moving on. Losers from round number one. A little disappointed in that hot tub. Winners from round number one moving on. We've got the 16 Angels with the middle body metal base versus the Buick Wildcat. Way too fast versus unobtainium. 16 Angels in lane number five, Buick Wildcat lane number six. On your marks, get set, go. Close race. Six 
16 angels taking it. Lane swap. On your marks, get set, go. You equip the jump, hold the slight edge. We'll go back and look at the video, see what the gap was. All right, that gap was almost identical. We'll go ahead and swap lanes, try them somewhere else. On your marks, get set, go. Wildcat with the jump, 16 angels drives around him. Nice run. On your marks, get set, go. Even race. Buick takes it, look at the video. All right, video shows that 16 Angels had the bigger beat over the Buick Wildcat. He'll be moving on. Way too fast versus unobtainium. On your marks, get set, go. Way too fast. <laughs> Way too fast. Lane swap, on your marks, get set, go. Unobtainium with the jump, way too fast. Going right around him. Consecutive wins, moves him on. And we're down to two, 16 angels with the metal body, metal base versus way too fast. On your marks, get set, go. Way too fast. Going around 16 angels. On your mark, get set, go. Yep, way too fast. No problem, he is our race winner for tonight. On to see the gatekeeper. Bottom man on the totem pole right now is the cool classics, Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe. He'll be racing against tonight's race winner way too fast. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, Daytona with the jump. Way too fast gets around him. Hmm, interesting. On your marks, get set, go. Cobra's getting a little faster. He didn't have enough speed to take out way too fast. Looks like our Cobra is out. Johnny Lightning 4 GT versus way too fast. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, the GT. Pulled the whole shot and the win. Lane swap. On your marks. Get set. Go! For GT. Taking that one. I guess our way too fast. Basically just pushed out the Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe. He's in. I don't know how long he'll stay there though. All right, that's it for tonight. You know what? I don't think so. That car right there pisses me off. Let's see what that one can do. Here's the packaging. It was new out of the box. Faster than ever, hot tub in lane number five. Tonight's race winner way too fast in lane number six. On your marks, get set, go. Oh yeah, way too fast. Yep, getting it done. Lane swap, on your marks, get set, go. Wow, lane five is a little bit faster. Looks like way too fast has got something for the faster than ever hot tub. Let's take a look at the footage. Interessante. Actually, this guy crossed the line first on that last race. 
Looks like he'll be moving on. Way too fast. Didn't stay in the stack very long. Sorry, buddy. Johnny Lightning 4GT versus the way too fast hot tub. On your marks, get set, go! Close race. GT squeaks out a win. Lane swap. On your marks. Get set. Go! Yeah. Lane five's faster. Pretty sure Hot Tub had the bigger beat. We'll check the video. Yeah, Hot Tub actually had both of those on those two races. Anyway, we're going to do Scream and Holler against the Faster Never Hot Tub. On your marks, get set, go! Hot Tub. Stand up in front the whole race. Lane swap. On your marks, get set, go! Two consecutive for the hot tub, moving up the ladder. GT Racer versus Faster Never Hot Tub. On your marks, get set, go! Oh, hot tub. Stayed up in front the whole way. Lane swap, on your marks, get set, go! Yep. Hot Tub just knocks off another one. Storm versus Hot Tub. On your marks. Get set. Go! Storm with the whole shot. Hot Tub drives around him. Lane swap. On your marks. Get set. Go! Wow. Two consecutive. Moving on, he continues to climb. Hot Tub versus Iron Man. On your marks, get set, go! Yeah, pretty close race. Hot Tub takes it. Lane swap on your mark, get set, go! Moving on. Hot Wheels Neo Classic Cobra versus Hot Tub. On your marks. Get set. Go! Cobra with the whole shot. Pulls the victory. You just saw the jump that Cobra had off the line. I'm sure he'd be fast on a short track. On your marks. Get set. Go! Good race. Yeah, he's landing right underneath the Cobra. Nice. All right, now that's all we have for tonight. Way too fast taking the overall quick eight race win for tonight. He was in the stack for a short period of time. He did beat out the Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe from the Cool Classics. And don't bother definitely bother faster than never hot tub kicking out way too fast for the short period of time he was in the fast stack he ended up landing right below the cobra and that is it for tonight guys appreciate you hanging out with me hope you enjoyed the races y'all stay healthy and have fun racing <laughs>